Hey everyone, welcome back to A 40k Journey. My name is Nate, and today we are going to be taking a quick look at heat weapon barrels. These can be like melta weapons or flame weapons. Either way, it's really easy to do and it looks fantastic. So what we need to do is start with some kind of a copper-ish metallic color. Uh, I used Balthasar Gold and just do that as a base layer over everything. Then we need some kind of purple. Uh, I see a lot of people using Druki Violet, but I didn't have that. So I'm using Vallejo Model Colors uh, Oxford Blue, which seems like a misnomer because it's purple, but it's what I have. And we don't want to cover the whole barrel. We only want to go about halfway up and want to stipple it a little bit because you don't want a straight line of purple. Okay, once that is dry or <laughs> mostly dry, we just need a little bit of Drakenhof Nightshade or some other kind of dark blue wash. And same thing as before, only we want to cover about half of our violet color. We don't want to cover it all up. And once we are finished here, we'll let that dry. And come back with our secret weapon, Nuln Oil. Nuln Oil, if you've never tried it, do yourself a favor, pick some up. It's one of those things that I wish I had known about uh, a long time ago. And we just want to wash the whole thing here. Don't worry about getting it too pretty. You just want to make sure it doesn't pool anywhere. That's the trick. All right. And last thing is to highlight the barrel vents here with a lighter metallic color. Uh, I'm using Hashut Copper. Uh, I've seen other people use a silver, like Stormhost silver, but for my money, that's a bit too much contrast. It stands out a little too much, and I like Hashut Copper. It's a bit more subtle. But really, that's all there is to it. Just a few minutes, and you can make your heat weapon barrels look so much better than just bare painted metal. So thank you so much for joining me again for a 40k journey. Hope you're having a great day wherever and whenever you are. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video and consider supporting the channel on Patreon.